It's about justice. It's about a higher law. It's about the people of this country. Right here, right here. Black Lives Matter is not a response to extrajudicial violence. It's a response to an inadequate, inept, racist execution of law in regards to the loss of black life. New questions in the Breonna Taylor case, which has been sparking protests across the country. Seeing what happened, the rise of Black Lives Matter and the public response, I think uh, the National Symphony and the broader Kennedy Center was asking itself, you know, what, what role can we play as we all look back to the summer of, of 2020, which I think was a watershed moment for, for the country. It was a watershed moment for, for, for the whole world. The prompt was to the NSO, the prompt was to the WNO, and the prompt eventually was to these composers. Consider the loss of life and the character of loss of life, but also to consider dignity. We're tackling a subject matter that is of the black American experience with black composers, black subject matters. You know, opera is uh, just the combination of words and music to tell a story. In these times, rightly, we're asking ourselves, well, which story and, and who is telling it? It made us realize how much we can use our stories and songs to bring about issues of social justice to people in new and exciting ways. These compositions do their best to restore a sense of dignity, not just to that life, but to the chasm between that life and the law. If you take the word classical, you think classical music, it's, it comes with preconceived notions, and that tends to be white male from Europe, right? And think about Beethoven and, and, and Mozart, not me. Diversity or equity, inclusion, access, that these aren't games of numbers and shame. These are questions about the future. If you want to kill me over here and I want to live over here, I'm not building a bridge where we meet in the middle. I will make culture here. And you can use that as a bridge to come over here where I'm alive.